Hi, I'm Elise. I'm a certified child passenger safety technician from taxibaby.com. We're going to do a quick and easy tutorial on how to install the Cosco Cinerinext travel seat. We're going to start with a simple three-step process on how to install the car seat outside the US. Then I'll go into those steps in more detail and to finish up, we'll have a look at how to do it forward facing. There are three steps when installing the Cosco Cinerinext. Put the seat belt through the belt path and buckle it. Tighten the seat belt and lock the seat belt. When used rear facing, the first step is to put the seat belt through the rear facing belt path. Buckle it. Tighten the belt. And then use a red locking clip flush with the buckle to lock the seat belt in place. The car seat should now move not at all, or at least no more than one inch from side to side. Let's go through those steps in more detail. When you're putting the seat belt through the seat belt path, you've got to remember that your child's legs, if you're using this in a taxi on a regular basis, your child's legs are probably sitting over the top of the belt path because they're already buckled in. One thing you can do to make it easier for you to pass the seat belt underneath their legs is to tilt the car seat back just while you're putting the seat belt in place. It helps to relieve the pressure of their legs off the belt path. Another thing that you can do is you can pass both hands into the belt path and then pass the buckle, the seat belt, from one hand to the other. This is easier than trying to get one hand all the way through the belt path. I'd also recommend you avoid wearing clunky jewellery if you're trying to get your hands underneath the belt path. When you pull the seat belt out, don't pull it all the way to the end. This can cause two problems by pulling it all the way to the end. One, you can engage the um, auto locking retractor on about 5% of Asian cars. What this will do is if you've pulled the belt all the way to the end, as soon as you start letting the belt retract, it will lock in place and it won't let you bring more slack out. The second thing that you can do if you bring too much of the belt out is it increases the chances of you twisting the belt and we don't want it to twist through the seat belt path. So I'm gonna pass one hand to the other, bring the seat belt through the belt path and buckle it. The seat belt path for the Cosco Scenarion X is the one closest to the backrest of the car seat. So there's a sign on here saying rear facing vehicle belt goes here. There's a forward facing belt path over here, but make sure that you're using the correct belt path for the direction that you've positioned the seat belt. The second step is to tighten the seat belt. A lot of people wanna tighten the seat belt up here at the retractor, and it's going to be really difficult if you do that. Instead, hold on to the top belt down uh, at the buckle itself. So the top belt is the belt that would normally go over your shoulders when you're wearing the, car, the seat belt, and the bottom belt is the lap belt. Now make sure that you haven't accidentally twisted the belt when you've put it through, um, otherwise that's gonna start getting pretty confusing for you. So we wanna tighten this bottom belt here, and we're going to do it by holding the top part of the shoulder belt and pulling up to tighten this through the buckle. We're not gonna pull out, because that's just gonna introduce more seat belt into the system. So grab this like a handle, put your spare hand between where your child's ankles would go, push down with your body weight. See how I'm leaning over the top of the car seat? Push down with your body weight with one hand while you pull up on the seat belt with your other hand. So now you can see that this part of the seatbelt here is nice and tight. So that is step two. Step three is that we need to lock the seatbelt. If we were in the US, what we could do is we could pull all of the belt out here, engage the automatic locking retractor, which would not allow any more slack to come out of the belt, and we could lock the belt that way. In Asia, most vehicles have European retractors, which mean they're only emergency locking retractors. And that means that the belt is only going to lock in an emergency. So when the brake is applied or when the belt itself is jerked. So we need to provide some other kind of locking system for the car seat in order to provide pre-crash stability. 
That's why all of the Lock all of the Costco Scenario Next sold by TaxiBaby.com come with a free taxi-friendly locking clip. This one is only going to go over the shoulder belt. It never clamps the two belts together. It's only designed to go over one part of the belt and we're going to use it like a plug. So you need to put it all the way down, completely flush with the buckle itself. So when you kind of slip it onto the belt, slide it down until you hear it contact with the buckle itself. Depending on your particular vehicle or the geometry of your vehicle, this part of the buckle might slide outwards. So you might have to actively push the buckle towards the car seat because what we're trying to do is we're trying to minimize the amount of slack in the lap belt. So we're gonna put this guy on, slide him all the way down. You might even need to push a little bit. And once I have it in place and I'm squeezing it with my hand that was pushing the car seat down, I can release the tension from here and I can use the spare hand to lock the, the locking clip in place. Now this excess belt here, we need to slide it back up so that there's no slack in the seat belt system and in an accident, the emergency locking retractor can still perform its job by retracting the belt slightly and locking into place. So we wanna make sure that the seat can't move, which is what we've got at the moment. Now, when you're using this car seat forward facing, those three steps still apply. The first step is to put the seat belt through the rear facing belt path, the forward facing belt path, sorry. Now you'll note the rear facing belt path was under your child's legs. The forward facing belt path is behind their back. Then we're going to buckle. We're going to tighten the same way, except it's not quite as easy to push down on the car seat, especially if the child is already buckled in. Um, so work out a way that works for you. If your kid isn't in there, then you can push down on the car seat just where their bottom would go, and you're gonna pull up, again, using the shoulder belt sort of as a handle or a grip, you're gonna pull up on the seat belt to get this lap belt as tight as possible. Step three is to lock the belt again. We're gonna test it. You can see that it doesn't move from side to side. A fourth step applies to the forward facing configuration and we do recommend that you use this fourth step and that is to install the top tether strap. This is an optional safety feature on this particular car seat, but we recommend that you use it. It reduces how far forward your car seat moves in an accident, and it helps protect your child from excessive head, neck, and spine injury. So if your car has a top tether anchor, or the taxi that you're traveling in has a top tether anchor, then we strongly recommend that you use this. If you have any other questions, you can contact us at info at taxibaby.com. Thank you.